Hey, what's going on YouTube? PB the Fox here. We are starting a brand new series today called Resisting to Play Flesh and Blood or something like that. I haven't actually come up with the name yet. But today is going to be considered day one of not playing Flesh and Blood. And the story behind this is that my friend's game store held this really big tournament called Road to Nationals. If you're not familiar with the game, it's kind of like a states or a regionals type thing. It's a qualifying event for this really big million dollar prize pool esports kind of deal. It's, it's really cool. Look it up if you don't have if you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't have time to explain it all. But I was looking at Flesh and Blood, and then I found this hero that I thought my wife would really like. So I found, I was just looking at some cards, and I found these really cool boots that are part of, like, the game uses equipment. You get, like, swords and shields and helmets and shit. And so I found these boots that were really cool. They were on eBay, really undervalued. So what does your boy PB do? I place a bid, because... <laughs> I'll be a little bit real here. I have a super, super addiction of just trying to win shit for cheap on eBay. I have since I was like 16 years old. It's pretty bad. So I bid on these boots, naturally. Of course, what happens? I win them. Of course I win them. We have right here... Oh, it's going to be backwards, isn't it? <gasps> Phantasmal footsteps, but it's backwards. What if I... Can I flip the video in the middle? Help me out. No, nope. it won't let me. Other things let me, but not this one. That's okay. So we find these phantasmal footsteps showing up in the mail today, of course. And, like, I wish I could do them justice. They, like, they like are super shiny and really cool-looking foils. Like, magic foils have been kind of disappointing. There we go. That looks really good. Magic foils have been pretty disappointing as far as, like, the art's not real foily. And, like, now it's literally just, like, a kind of a shiny, garbagey card. Oh, come on. Focus up. Focus up. <gasps> I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? There we go. So it doesn't matter. But, uh, magic cards, shininess, not very good over the last probably five to eight years. It's really hard to say, like, when exactly they went downhill. Because I remember as far back as, like, 2010, 2011, they still looked decent. Like, Foil Spellskite is a really sweet card. And Mirrodin came out, like, 2010, I think. So, like, it's been sort of a recent development that foil cards are just, like, kind of garbage, you know? Every now and then, like, when when they're really bright and dark and the foiling turns out good, like, you can get a really cool-looking card, but most of them don't. The thing is, I've seen now exactly one foil flesh and blood card, but it is gorgeous. And I can tell that, like, this is not the only card that looks good in foil. I can tell, like, all those cold foils probably look sick. So, anyway, long story short, we have... One flesh and blood card in our entire house. That's these like pretty expensive boots. And now every day I just have to pace around my house like this. Like I know I'm pacing and it might make the video kind of weird and make you dizzy. I don't know. It doesn't make me dizzy because I pace around all the time anyway when I'm not on camera. And I just walk around my house thinking, should I go up to the game store and buy some flesh and blood cards? Nah. Literally today I just got home from the grocery store. I walked in the door from the grocery store and started filming this video. That's how recently it is. In fact, no, I didn't leave anything on the counter. I put the groceries away. So maybe I exaggerated. But on the way home from the grocery store, I was like, should I just drive over to the game store and buy a couple of, like, pre-constructed Blitz decks and just me and Julie can start playing for fun? It would be so cool. Julie wants to pre-order a bunch of boxes of the new set because it looks really cool. We might end up getting into this game. I don't know yet. We might dump a bunch of our magic stuff. In the preparation to move, I've, like kind of redone magic a little bit it's definitely i got rid of a few of these boxes i think i got rid of like two or three old booster boxes that were full of cards now every single one of these boxes is full of all of the same thing whether there's like two boxes of basic lands and some common and uncommon bulk and some like whatever whatever tokens are in one of them but like everything is organized in all of those boxes i know everything that i want to hold on to no matter what and then there's a bunch of stuff that we might sell. We might get rid of it. And if we do, we're thinking we might buy list it to TCG or take it up to upkeep and just like dump it or something. And then use all the proceeds to buy flesh and blood cards. Because then we're not really spending money, sort of. Kind of. No money's coming out of the bank account, which is important right now. When you're buying a house, it's really important not to just spend a bunch of fucking money. So, anyway. This will conclude day one of not playing Flesh and Blood, and we'll see if I can last more days without just buying a bunch of Flesh and Blood cards. So stay tuned. We'll post every day. Thanks for checking us out, and we'll see you tomorrow.